update on breaking news from Corpus Christi, where the FBI now says a shooting at a naval base is terrorism related. A member of the security team was wounded before that shooter was killed. Our senior reporter is live in Naval Station Corpus Christi with new information now just coming in. Phil Archer's live for us there. Phil. And the FBI has identified the gunman who was killed here earlier today. His name given to us is Adam Al Sahay. He is from Corpus Christi. He was shot and killed this morning in what the FBI describes as an act of terrorism as he was trying to force his way onto the naval base. At this time, federal, state, and local police are still searching for a second suspect, possibly his accomplice. <laughs> The base went on lockdown this morning at 6.15 when a gunman, described as an Arab male, attempted to storm the north gate. He was confronted and killed by a naval security team. Witnesses reported hearing almost two dozen shots fired. One member of the team, a female sailor, was injured but not seriously. She was treated and released this afternoon. Houston's FBI office is taking the lead in the investigation. This afternoon, agents described the shooting as a terrorist attack. We have determined that the incident this morning at the Naval Air Station Corpus Christi is terrorism related. And Agent Lee Greaves says the shooter may have had help. We may have a potential second related person of interest at large in the community, but we would encourage the public to remain calm and if you see something, say something. Traffic through the base's north gate remains restricted as investigators continue to process the crime scene. Life in this ocean town returning to normal. For a time this morning, the Texas A&M campus near the base issued a code blue, urging students and faculty to remain away from doors and windows. By noon, that had been lifted with residents lining up for a food giveaway on campus grounds. So we were able to make sure everything was safe and clear and the situation over there was under control before we decided, okay, we're going to go through with the event. The investigation into exactly what happened here and why this morning remains fluid, according to federal investigators, as the search continues for that potential second suspect. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Phil, thank